Hello, everybody! We're back with more Warframe Space Ninjas action! Uh, hopefully my screen will actually show up on the stream at some point. Hello, <laughs> I'm here too. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, last time we were getting Ryu started out with doing all the prologue missions and whatnot. Today we're going to actually make some progress for his story. Assuming he can actually show his screen. It's because it's so weird with, uh, with Warframe specifically. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, so we were planning on progressing uh, Ryu a bit more, and he is in Venus. So, which one did we need to do next, Ryu? Oh, just e to unlock the stuff, E-Gate. Okie dokie. Me and Daddy are probably going to be using some of our lesser-used Warframes and weapons and whatnot. Uh, just to, you know, not blow through this too quickly. Yeah, you know, um... Go ahead. I, I was just saying, I'm pretty much unequipped. Uh, oh yeah, you're doing that daily quest for running through with only a melee weapon or something, yep. right? With a brand new hammer that I got from Sa from Sakura Suda. I really do like just the manta ray versions of the landing craft. <laughs> why? Why were there only two people there for a second? Because it takes a bit to load sometimes. Very yeah, orange. Okay. <laughs> I'm on fire. Stop. Out of time. Folks can hear my keyboard and whatnot. This is a very keyboard heavy game. Smoosh. jumped off somewhere like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how to get back up to you. <laughs> Here. And there's a bunch of enemies right next to us. Catch up, Danny. Alright, the fourth game is confusing for a second. I remember Danny has a dog. Stay focused. <laughs> There's a heavy unit approaching. Ooh. Are you aware you're a dog? You know what? Never mind. What? Just, you, you have a, a specific aesthetic, don't you, buddy? Me. I like blue and pink together. Alright. Open up the door, Ryu. I've got it covered. Okay. Ryu? The Wrong side. Oh, I've got it. Okay. We need to press both. God, it's a two man door. Got it. Okay. I completely missed. And I love a weapon leveled up. Down the elevator. Uh, some loot up here. Uh, 15 of 20 mods <laughs> were behold possibilities. Okay. 
I forgot to remove the ability to, to, to power up your weapon by holding left click. Corpus walkers are heading to your location. I think it might be just the middle mouse click one now. I knew a topic do something with the middle mouse, but I cannot remember what it was. <laughs> That's uh, ultimate fire. I thought I found something secret, but it's barely anything. Everything keeps blowing up around me! <laughs> feel What's this? System? Okay. So what was that about, about him? Just my slide, something blows up around me. <laughs> my feet make fire. Oh, that's what I just... Approaching. Yeah, we're gonna need to practice on the movement at some point. <laughs> the enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. I'm actually low on Oxium, I need some. Basis. But I sent out a couple of resource drones, so... That I do not think I have access to yet. <laughs> uh, I don't have... I don't really use them either, just because... Uh, making them is a pain. Yeah, I only have two. Yeah, and they get damaged and break as well. Yeah, but when they get damaged, you just don't use them for a day or two, and they're fine. Really? Yeah. You guys just run right past my log room. <laughs> just breathe. Another Hello. job well floating towards us. I go with the movement mission. I know I can do. I got the achievement for getting um ten ten missions without um where with only a melee weapon equipped. Didn't realize I'd done them nine times before. Alrighty. Next mission is gonna be. Is Tesra unlocked for you now, Ryu? Yes. Cool. Alright, we're gonna be doing the regular defense version. One minute, let me actually have equipment. I mean, you don't have to say yes until you're ready, Danny. Hmm. I don't know, just make sure you can trigger the. It's uh, 10 waves, I think is what it said. Do you want me to bring something extra survivable, or shall we stick with... I, it's a level 6 quest, Danny. This is fair. And I have a healer. I am a healer right now. Hey, let me... I do not remember what Trinity does, but I'm bringing her.
I mean, probably be used as a partner for Neo, I would think. <laughs> Too bad we don't have that war mech. That took me a bit. <laughs> I'm only I'm only angry because I didn't get to it first. <laughs> I was drinking when you said that, Haven. So I, oh. <laughs> Weak joke. I couldn't think of anything actually clever besides I I just had to use the word neo somewhere. I just wasn't expecting it. It just happened. Transmissions are pretty easy. Well, at least the concept is easy. The mission themselves can be pretty brutal. Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. Well of life, and energy vampire link blessing. I think I'm technically a healer as well. Bombs, or was it just once they were there? Uh, I just did. You dive bombed into them. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no, you you do. Jump and then uh, a melee attack towards it. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're, if you're high you enough up, you're dive bomb. Uh, you gotta be aiming downwards. Got it. Okay. But you have to hit the bomb itself, not just its radius. Got it. Man, just spontaneously split into two pieces. <laughs> Choppers are interesting enemies because initial headshots don't actually do any extra damage because they've got helmets. But they will knock the helmets off, allowing later headshots to do extra damage if they have enough health for that. So a lot of the time, body shots are your best option. Oh, I forgot the Senos Prime is um, a spread bird. There we go, I'm doing mod. He used to kill two, two enemies on the mod in the bird shop. Challenge completed. I didn't even know that was an aura challenge. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more damage now that I've got my um, bird set to best. I noticed that's a very Vmon colored frame you got, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Completely coincidental, honestly. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think Danny's subconscious is doing things. I, I think so too. <laughs> I don't have any ping. Oh wait, yes I do. Okay, hold on. Yeah, the energy's ping. Okay. Whoops. Uh, no, ah, uh, screw it. That's three waves down.
I just remember what the Azima does. I put turrets down. Really, usually Azima just gives me a uh, cough. Come on, Danny, you know you smiled. What happened? No. I have asthma, which is sort of like emphysema, but, uh, but different. I used to be asthma, too. As far as I can tell, my lungs just got stronger as I grew up. Not remember what my abilities do at all. All right, we have abilities. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to actually remember this stuff. No, don't worry. You'll forget a lot about this game as you go on because you just, they just keep throwing new mechanics at you. That said, you probably won't forget that you have abilities. I think you're overestimating me. Once you get strong enough, it's like half of your actions. Yeah, I have several Warframes that their entire build is just use ultimate. Bam, ultimate. Abilities. Yeah, well of life. Extraction yeah. is ready. Because we need to do 10, we need to keep going. More of the enemy. Yep. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of missions that are like this for you, where you get to choose if you want to keep going or not. Uh, and you get better rewards, obviously, as you keep going, right. but it gets more difficult. If you lose on a higher difficulty, does it take all reward progress from you, or does it just give you what you got? I think it takes away your rewards. I'm not sure, though. That makes sense. That's how I was expecting by looking at it. Okay, so if I get hit when I have Link acting, enemies need to die and can get hit instead. Uh, energy Vampire gives you guys energy, so t tell me if you guys uh, need energy at any point. I'll start spamming my ultimate more. Yeah, I, I target an enemy and, it's, and if you're near it, it gives energy or something like that. I'm not doing no too. <laughs> Uh, uh, Excalibur does actually have some really good abilities. I think I only have two I can actually use at the moment. The, uh... Well, my dog's broken. Uh, the sword it, dash you... and whatever the number two one is. The sword dash is actually really good because if you hit an enemy with it, you'll automatically hit another enemy that's nearby. So you can just press it and then immediately just chain a fuckload of enemies together. Uh, yeah, yes. that requires for me to actually have good aim. <laughs> no, especially once you hit the first one, the rest are, the rest are all um, automatic. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Got Did it. Did you just do it? Yeah. <laughs> there just hadn't been enemies that close at first. Okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm regaining from your uh, energy thing. I haven't used it yet, actually. Um, oh, there's, man, there's so been a lot of going that fast. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. Those, those blue balls that you see drop. I know that the energy healers and the red ones are health, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, so, what was your other ability that you got? Uh, whatever this is. Which looks like it see. stuns the enemies. Uh, uh, it's like a flash. Okay, yeah. that what that does is it blinds enemies. It will let you then proceed to um, press uh, the interact button on them to stealth kill them. It is amazing for getting stealth kill much Cool. That's good to know. So 
because I've used it a few times and, and saw the enemies just kind of staggering. Don't mind me, just telekinetically slamming enemies into the wall. I do the right thing, wrong. There is a silver rank uh, mod in here. Have you just packed it? You probably want to grab that. Did you ping it? Yeah. You did. Let's grab it. Okay. That's why I didn't see it then. It's already had it. Good dog thing. Press that button. Oh. Uh, another one here. Uh, Fury. So, uh, as you get various scans, um, you unlock parts of um, Audis's memories. It turns out he was a. Uh, sort of soldier, a high-ranking mercenary kind of thing for the Orokin, the ancient race in this. But uh, he start, like he was very aggressive and violent, but even he got disgusted by their actions and started to rebel against them. He was captured and um, as punishment, um, he was transformed into a into a cephalon the 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 ai's made out of real uh, real people to which um they also scat shattered his memories and um, if you manage to find the specific scans in order to, to restore his memories he thanks you and then then immediately deletes them because he is horrified of who he used to be understandable God, this, this this hammer uh, this hammer animation is actually really brutal. Just slam, slam, slam. Okay, yeah, when you actually have enemies next to each other, that sword of Billy is amazing. <laughs> it really is. Oh, Ryu, anytime you see like a blue bar surrounding an enemy health bar, that means they're uh they're like an ex not excellent. What what is it called? Danny, do you remember? Reinforcements available. Oh, Eximus. Eximus, yeah, they're basically an elite enemy. Do uh, we want to keep going, or did we? are we good? Uh, I'm good, because that was the 10th wave, so... Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, Eximus are basically superpowers. Let's go home. Yeah, one of your things is to kill, like, five of them. I think just from those two missions, we've killed five. So... I got 105 oxium. Not that. Not bad. Mm-hmm. I think I need a thousand. 65 oxium. All right. I think I have a resource doubler or something going on too, because I've you just get those randomly sometimes. All right. So let's see. That got Tessera out of the way, and then we need to rescue someone at Linnea. Yes. So that one is set up. And the last one for me to unlock uh, the murky route is the fighting on the Fossa. Yeah, fighting the boss. Excellent armor. It's a, 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 a test. Um, because you were getting retroactive progress last time. 
even though you yeah. didn't have those those areas unlocked. Yeah, because it definitely just, just unlocked all off. the areas. Yeah, so. So I just I'm, next we'll just go straight to Fossa and see if it unlocks for you. Yep. Our intel suggests that our person of interest is in the vicinity. Search for the hostage and bring them home. Oh, hi. Oh, this mission can be done stealth, I think, but uh, too late. We have to do it stealth when we get to the end. Oh, right. I do remember that. So yeah, if you see any cameras, Ryu, they'll have like the blue sensor areas that yes. they're looking at. They you can the alarms. You can shoot those cameras. Before I they can shoot them cameras. Okay, good to know. Uh, Ryu is ready to level up again, by the way. Find I the am? Captain oh, as soon as it, it did give me the alert this time. Much time. All right, we'll let him do that after this then. If I, if, if I still have it, if I still have the talent, I am very good at hacking. It's told me before, how do I switch which weapon I'm using to do? For the F. F, thank you. And if you hold the button down, you'll, you'll, instead of left click shooting your gun, you'll just stay with your melee. And you can use right click to block bullets. You still take some damage, but it will be reduced. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Definitely grab all the loot you can, Ryu, because this, this game, all loot is constantly useful because we are constantly tracking things. I've basically been running over everything. Uh, there is an Ayatan catalyst down here. Those are oh, useful nice. to pick up. Got it. There in a minute. You'll know those things are important because you actually have to have manually to pick, yeah. pick them up. Um, they're for getting a special currency. You should see your screen, Danny. Yep, I, I see it. Okay. Do you remember that treasure we picked up? The Ayatan treasure? Mm -hmm. like a, like, sort of like a statue? Ryu, do you remember that? Yes. Um, you you can slot those the, those stars into it. Yeah, which, it makes uh, it more valuable. Yeah, like you, you sort of turn it on, and then you can um, you can trade it for endo, which is the the currency, uh, the, the 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 energy used the stuff to for uh, up in the mods. Yes. You can also display them on the on the arbiter as well. I have something displayed on the order. <laughs> That's a statue thing, so. Your dog is in the wall. That's nice. I was on the wall. Damn. I thought you are way ahead of us. But don't worry, there's nothing on the way. It's all empty. the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Yeah, well, best wait for Ryu. Be kind anyway. of I'm slowly coming up here. <laughs> Reset the alarms.
Remember, Ryu, uh, slide jump is the fastest way to move. Horizontally, at least. Usually, the best way to go vertical as well, because you just go straight up. Alright. Ben says me. Uh, says me. The bypass is done. Go. Okay, from oh. here on, it's better to do stealth stuff. Yeah. Uh, my guns aren't silenced. Mine aren't either. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Not that one. Here are the holding cells. Search each one for the hostage. Thank you, Tenno. Subject found. You need to bring the captive to safety. Protect them at all costs. I've given them my secondary weapon. We've got robots inbound. Yeah, when you have an NPC like this, Ryu, you can actually give them your offhand weapon, your like your pistol or whatnot, yeah, so they can right. actually defend themselves. But they are definitely vulnerable, so this is an escort mission. Yeah, because I did the one escort, the introductory escort mission with Darvo, but I know that's probably the easiest yeah. escort mission I'm going to get. So. Um, okay. There we go. So where did he go? Stay focused. There's a heavy unit Should be marked with a blue icon. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. He's, uh, he, 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 they pick up the air and follow them. Not necessarily even the same player that rescued them. Oh, I didn't treasure. Well, I just died. Watching my stream, if you if you cons have concerns about my aim, don't say it. You are now it's giving right me concerns about your aim. <laughs> I said you can have concerns, you just don't need to t say anything about it. You know, you said if, you, if we're watching your stream, we shouldn't say it. You can say if we're part of it. I actually have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Technically I'm correct, to... which is the best kind of correct. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get the uh, 20 kills while while aiming in midair thing. So uh Oh, that's yeah. gotta be difficult. <laughs> Escort mission complete. The hostage is safe. Let's get out of here. So ten hostages free without doing the execution timer. I have two because apparently Darv accounted for that. I'm impressed we've got two science stars. Let's have a look at the accuracy then. God damn it, don't you dare. Wait, is there a way you can see that? <laughs> yes, you can go into stats after uh, after the end of the battle. Uh, Ryu, you got 22%. Um, Haven got 49%, and I got 94%. I'm amazed I have as high as 22%. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see if it'll let's do Fossa. Uh, looks like it. Uh, let me just, uh, if I want to, if I, I want to try the, um, I wish it wouldn't remember that I've removed the upgrades, because then I have to remember, I have to remember to put them back on. I mean, you sh could just have saved it as a loadout, and then we yeah, but, one. Yeah, but, um, well, it, it remembers the gear, it doesn't remember the 
upgrade page that you've got set. Config, like it's, config C. For example. Different config. What? That's what they're there for. Use a different config. I know. I'm just saying. I wish it didn't remember that I've changed the configs so that I, I didn't have to change them back every time. That would be a nightmare if it didn't remember that. That would just mean like, if if I could save it, if I could save the config, and when when I go back to the um. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rather than rather than having to change the config manually every single time, if I could, if I can just pick, pick the loadout and it just goes back to the config that I had saved when I made, when I saved the loadout. It doesn't do that. I thought that uh, was how it did it. Okay. Nope. So uh, when you when you do high level stuff, remember to check your upgrades. I always just have one config for every Warframe, really. In an attempt to exert power and authority, the Corpus have continued to refine their most lethal security proxy, the Jackal. Determine its location aboard this vessel and destroy it. Three live kills. A parazon, as lethal to technology as it is to flesh. Disrupting the jackal's auto repair may require it. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Is. That statue. Oh. It can reflect some light, can't it? Yeah. Also, I may have tried to attack Haven, thinking he was one of the Remember, bad guys. The Jackal's auto repair precepts could make this a battle of attrition you will lose. Watch for an opening and remember your Parazon. The jackal. I expected it to be bigger. You don't know the jack. Oh. Massive flex plates on the torso, but appendages could be a weakness. Still mobile despite the damage, but if it comes down hard, it could give you an opening. Oh, wait. Uh, I will... Give you a moment. Uh, I won. Ah. Uh, how do I do that? You press the interact button X. Yeah. But you have to be close enough to it. Yeah. Okay. The hockeys are a weird enough design, I'm not always sure. <laughs> so we're the way we're getting it up into the air, Ryu, is we're attacking the back legs. Those are what are vulnerable while it's on the ground. Watch your angles, Tenno. Cover. I'll get you, Ryu. Uh, ha okay. Precepts. 
Watch for increased attack speed. Alright, the easiest place to actually dodge this is closer to the boss for you. Oh, you that don't want to lure too far out. Okay. Oh. Oh right, because you have because you are you're closer in, so it's not gonna Yeah, you don't have to move nearly as fast. Ow. Alright, Ryu, that's yours. I'll get Danny. One more of that, then. Thank you. Oh, you don't want a leg left? <laughs> ah, what was that? No oh, good. I turned around. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. Sending out distress waves. You know what to do. Destroy it. All right. Okay. Well done, Tenno. You have sent a clear message to the Corpus today. Their war profiteering will not go unpunished. If ever we got whatever their drop was, let's move on. Stay focused. Somebody hasn't picked up the jackal sigil yet. I got the jackal sigil. Corpus walkers are heading to your location. I got mine. Oh, why is it so loud? I wonder. Harvest Granum, your sacred tokens shall remain secure from the grasp Excuse of the Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna stealth bastard over here. A random crown. I have no idea what the fuck that is. I didn't get anything. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I had some pop-up and this dude was like, Ah, don't go after me, I'm a treasurer! I have money or something! Yeah, I heard that. I saw the pop-up, but I didn't get anything from him. He had, a, he had a thing that I had to pick up manually. Oh well. Getting getting your daily done. Yep. It's about to take long. I need four more. Okay, that didn't count. I'm sorry, is that a freaking Roomba? Oh, they have a lot of those. Two more. One more. Where? There we go. Done. They won't be bothering us anymore. Let's get out of here. I still can't believe. Oh, I got the rhino chassis. I still can't believe they removed. Um... They removed the um... the glitch texture. They didn't. They didn't do that when um, when people um, were accidentally managed to breed Kavats and Kubra and created a horrible monstrosity. They let people keep their pet monstrosity pets. The Granum <laughs> Crown is apparently an ancient token of esteem from the Corpus founder himself. Okay. I'll look that up. Anyone uh, Heaven, rank up. You're, that. The Your accuracy is 61. My accuracy is 61. Yeah, how about we were mine? Both farming that, we were both farming that damn thing. We also both did like 48% damage. Alright. 
Or I can't be in a squad. I need to leave. Uh, Reed, oh, these, are, these are just turnips. I think. You're no, right. never mind. These are, consequences. these are actually... You can access the void. You can free Earlier captives in Solaris. Or gain rewards from temple release. Yeah. Okay, sidearm. I'm cool. All right, so what was that? Uh, re uh... I'm doing the mastery, so it's sidearm only this time. Oh, okay. Good, good. Ready yourself. First one was melee only, which I like. <gasps> So a sire, I'm only with the pistol, which I don't like as much. <laughs> don't worry, you'll get some sidearms that are real damn good. By the way, if anybody wants uh, loot, I do have um, I do have an upgrade that makes my tentacles a um, cause um, a hundred percent drop chance. Oh, sorry, that additional well drops. Executed. Well, apparently uh, I did it. <laughs> that felt like it went faster, even though it seemed like it should have taken me longer. Messages in your inbox, operator. It'll be a while before you uh, get the hard ones. They are not as encrypted as they should be. Yeah, I mean, the one I just did to get to level 14 was still pretty easy. The only reason I failed is because Noir got in my way right at the wrong time. You're level 12. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, so all I need to do is uh, complete the Mercury Junction then. Also, I think I can get another invite. Oh. Yeah. I was modding a different weapon I was going to bring. Let's see. I've just been having no mods lately. There we go. We're early, early on enough that that's not really an issue. Definitely want to get to at least rank five with Nora. The extra weapons. Ordis is half angry. Hmm. I may require maintenance after I think all. I've actually got three warframe slots available. I've made some warframes. So it just says you need to do the junction? Does that mean that you need to get there, or you just need to... Okay, it's, what it says is, uh, cause I'm looking, cause this is to unlock the Mars Junction, so it says, uh, complete the Mercury Junction and visit the Codex in your orbiter. I think I have to complete a quest called Once Awake as well, but I'm not sure. And that Can says you complete like... Suisse on Mercury. Okay, so that's the Mercury Junction, then. Uh, no, that's to unlock the Mars Junction. Unlock yeah, we Mars. we need we need to unlock the Mercury Junction first because you yeah, need to unlock be Mercury, Mercury. Unlock Mars, yeah. Okay, so the Mercury Junction though, it doesn't let you go. Like, is it unlocked on your side, or does it say you need to actually have a path there? Uh, I can't. Okay, I think I need a path there. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go to Unda then. Technically, it'd be faster if we go Venera, but if we go to Unda, that'll make it so you can go to Fortuna later. Which is going to be important. It's actually oh, hard to oh, tell. Uh, all right. I can't click on the junction, so I assume it. That means I can't. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we need an actual path there. I would assume that uh, Afro, whatever one, would have 
been it that I got from doing that I got from when you took me to Fossa, but it might be because we didn't actually do that one specifically. Don't have a, you don't have a path to Fossa, though. So, we, it, we can snipe missions, but if they are on the path to the junction anyway, then it doesn't really matter. We okay. just do them out of order, that's all. Got it. Tenno. You are here to infiltrate what do you think about Galen cosplay? Highly sensitive enemy information. I've got, uh... Check out... Hold on. Check out my new weapons. Nice. I'm here to destroy the Warrior of Light and become chaos. And I'm all out of Warriors of Light. This is my nice. mission, so we can all split up and go to different locations. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll go take to a. Be on the lookout for increased security measures. The enemy would rather destroy their data than let it get into our hands. So, do you want to get B, Ryu? Yep, that's where I'm heading. Take it slow. Don't don't try like speedrun or anything. Just look at what you're dealing with and see what you, uh, what it's asking of you. The uh, the spy missions all have are basically more like puzzles than anything. Right. Yeah, I'm not doing that. All right. <laughs> I like getting stealth kills with massive weapons. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Sure, what it's telling me to do. I'm in the room, the target is something I can't actually do anything with. Is there a way down there? Always a way. I'm, I'm actually on my way to you since I already got mine done. Uh, for you, but keep giving it a look. See if you can find a way in. I may have found it. <laughs> no, maybe not. Extraction complete. I get what it wants me to do. It's getting to it, but I can't figure out. <laughs> What it's always going to be, because this spy mission is, you'll see the, the see the obvious path that it'll probably be locked off. So you always want to look for the not so obvious path. Oh, uh, I think hey, I see event it. Or something. Yeah, I think I see it. So now it's a question of how do I get to that vent? <laughs> Uh, this is get into the, the vent. Uh, this is one of the tougher ones. So I see the vent. I assume leads there. Oh god. <laughs>
So, uh, Ryu, come over here. Uh, you see all these lasers and stuff? Yeah. There's a thing to disable lasers right here. I missed it because I did not go that way. Got it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, use that to disable lasers. And that lets you into this next area. Which I don't think is actually necessary for this version of the puzzle. I it think it's through isn't. here. It's through here, I think. Technically is it, but I wanted him to see the panel. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. There's the vent. And the vent's right here for you. Ah. So since we disabled these lasers over here, you could have peeked in this room and you might have seen that entrance over here. Got that it. would have been your hint. Yeah, because uh, I, I was on top of it, so I can see how this works now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Heavy robotic signature detected. Lock and load. There are some, uh, some frames specifically designed for using stealth and Deborah Sabara. She can, um, she can, she can make her own, own zip lines, which she can then walk over, uh, over trap, over dangerous areas with. Oh, yeah. I'm just playing with them, Ryu. Let's keep going. <laughs> They, they had a dropship in the area, and I was like, okay, I'll play with your dropship. Stando power! I suppose just walking over what you killed to see if I got anything from it. <laughs> right, I am just going to buy a brick right quick. Back shortly. Anything on that on that reward list that says identified was we only got it because we actually did all three. Okay, so in my case it's a mod called Parry and a mod called Metal Auger. Metal Auger, I got that too. Yeah. All right, with Undo taken care of, next is Killikin. Oh yeah, now I see. Okay, so dash means there's a route there, but you don't have it unlocked yet. It's a straight line, you have it unlocked. Got it. This one's an excavation, so this is one we can do uh, a bunch of waves if we wanted. I actually dislike excavation. It's a mixture of like defense and like point capture, sort of. Hmm. There are going to be these excavation devices, and you have to kill enemies, and some of them will carry, like, this little power pack, and you have to carry that power pack back to your excavation tool so it doesn't run out of power. Ugh. But it also has to be defended, and you usually have, like, two active at once. Ugh. Like, if it's just one, it, it's one thing, but... Ugh.
Operator, did you hear that? It said... Cosmic background radiation is a riot! I need to get one of the other pallets at some point so I can make more of what I want for my killers to be. <laughs> Yeah, I, I only bought the one that's, like, the basic colors. Sorry, what's the basic colors? Just talk about palettes. Ah, right. Yeah, I got... I didn't go for the basic one, I went for the saturated one. Well, yeah, that's the one I have, is the saturated. Yeah. It's, uh, just called, it's just called classic saturated. Yeah, because there is also classic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure classic saturated is the one I wanted. I'm going to want. <laughs> yeah, it's brighter. And so I like looking garish sometimes. Because these colors are pretty close to what I want, but they're not bright enough. <laughs> Okay, I shall be back in just a couple of seconds. Don't mind me just rolling around, not quite at the speed of sound. I don't have, have any places, places to, to go. go. No, because this is a small ship. And there are no rainbows because we're in space. Yes, there is, there's a classic saturated. Blue, purple, and pink. When my colors are done, I'll be supposed to be wearing the trans flag. We are here in search of lost artifacts <laughs> and items buried deep below the surface. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. That's a battery, you need to use it to power up the excavators. As a heads up though, while you're wielding the battery, you can use your primary gun. Yeah, I just found that out. Which is still melee for some reason, even if you have a two-headed weapon. Well, I'm fine with melee. <laughs> is ready to go. Keep it powered oh, once, and protected from enemy Once fire. the excavator has 100%, you don't need to give it anything else unless you're just trying to refill its shields. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can just drop the battery nearby and use it on the next excavator. Okay, full. Yeah, you don't need to plug that one in. Okay. There that. An artifact. 
artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. There's a lot of people you just burnt. <laughs> I mean, they're all gonna stay in line. <laughs> Loot room over here. I'll have a map on that. Look what we just uncovered. Extraction is now available. 2,000 monies. So yeah, we could leave right away, or you could do some more extractions. It's usually best to do like three. Okay. Yeah, it's just bit. one of those things that eventually, you, if you play this game enough, you practice it so much, it's just second nature to how you like move. Like, it's fun movement. It doesn't so... <laughs> so it's just a Yeah, case, like... Uh... Me and Haven just, just zoom. Yeah, we're, we're skipping over entire chasms. Yeah, that I'm not ready to do yet. <laughs> Because there's two dig sites active, technically we can go to different ones and just activate them early. Like oh. you just did. Uh. Excavator is ready to That's go. fine. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. That's where just falling, you would have to run over it. <laughs> I'll uh, keep an eye on this one. But, uh, it honestly just scared me. I need some power. Coming to you, Danny, with Find a cell. cell. Appreciate it. I believe one power cell is basically 20 seconds. Yeah, these guys should have done some should have uh, got gear or cell. The battery bastards aren't spawning over this side. They might all be spawning over here at sea. There's a bunch of batteries over here. Okay, I'm gonna leave my mantle and uh, it can protect it while I come over and get a battery. Where? There's a whole ton around this rock here. Oh, paste them. Yeah, I can detach my back from me and have it fly around as a stand. He's just killing these guys for me. Shit. You have like a double layered warframe. Yep. Excavation complete. Look what we found. Stand up power! I am Garland and I am Deer. Galandia. Alright, let's get down. Let's go find the exit. Alright, sir. Uh... 
Yeah, on um, most excavation missions, though, uh, Ryu, they aren't as spread out as this. Like, this is one of the early ones, so they didn't really know how they wanted to design them just yet. They're usually much more compact. Yeah, this seems a bit big for what it wants you to do. And honestly, when I activated that excavator, it scared the hell out of me because I was not expecting just a giant drill to fall on me. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Uh, I have no clue how to get to you guys. Protect the unit while it extracts <laughs> Lots the of jumping. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. Quiet, Lotus, we don't. We're leaving. We need another power cell for the excavator. No, I don't want to fall off. There we go. Okay. Ah, really? Okay. I had ton science star. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Oh, that was great. Never seen that before. Oh, there you are. There's the cyan star over here. Oh, a star, a star drop. I'm on the way. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered. Drop and three it excavators in this one area. Christ. Lotus. Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. Uh, before you guys go to the base, do you see the um, do you see the spike on my right right shoulder? At the wiggly, 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gonna... Would be next. Okay, that is probably going to be the mobile defense version, not the nightmare version. It is mobile defense is what it shows. That's what I thought. <laughs> the nightmare version is different. <laughs> You'll get to that eventually. defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend uh, was... a number of locations while I break into the network. Are you sure you're you the one the, uh, heavy resistance? The warframe with the loot lock, Danny? This without you. <laughs> you grabbing that, Ray? Yeah, mobile is one of us picks up the item just like those canisters from before 
and we just have I to carry it to a location. To a terminal. Find one and patch me in. Okay. I assume the terminals are the little gold icons. Mm -hmm. The good rule of thumb is just follow gold icons most of the time anyway. Yeah, that's what I figured. If it looks like progress, it's probably progress. <laughs> Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Stay focused. There's Not a lot. Approaching. incoming location reached drop me in and defend our position I'm in Tenno this will take a moment the four of us have this handle are you counting your dog no I'm counting my mantle I need to bring a dog, apparently. Did okay, my stand is packed. Did you shove your Stay dog into your mantle? Continue is that why it can act on its own? No. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Reminds me of the meme that um, Alpha, uh, Alpha became a sage by uh, liquefying his car bundle. Right. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Yeah, I saw purple. I thought it was I thought Danny was one of those powered up enemies. <laughs> The 
odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. Were they Mission complete. against us? Were the odds against us, Lotus? I don't think they were. I mean, I suppose, mathematically speaking, it was three against fuck mods, but... Yes, but we have the universal ninja law. There's a, uh, when we're outnumbered, ninjas are unstoppable. When we're outnumbering them, we're just fine with goons. Ah, the conservation of ninjutsu. Yeah, outside of that thing, you're a lot less impressive. It does a lot of heavy lifting for making you look intimidating. <laughs> Another job well executed. Kills. Nice. <laughs> now I know how to use that blade ability. It does a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. That should unlock the junction for you. Yes. All right. I don't remember how you get access all the rewards and stuff, or if they're just automatically added though. I have no you should, uh, It unlocks two different quests, a blueprint for a new primary gun, a couple of mods, and a bunch of salvage. In fact, let me bring up your stream real fast. I want to see what you see. 10,000 credits, quest once a week, quest Hal of the Kubro, Bolter blueprint, fast deflection, streamline, 1,000 salvage. Okay, so in theory, those are added already, then. They should just be in your inventory, hopefully. If you actually click the button to Mercury, what does it do? To Mercury, it doesn't do anything, because I have to unlock, actually unlock the, through the junction. Oh, click on the junction. Yeah. Doesn't do the anything? Single-player mission that must be completed alone. Oh, Okay. Guess you gotta do a single player mission. Alright. Alright. You do that. Danny and I can do something else real quick. Okay, I'll uh I'll equip some better of the crazy. I think with the Venus jump scene, it probably won't take that long. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Well, it might you're right, it might just be like Yeah, a it'll... Yeah, it's just a boss fight against the if Oh yeah, they just put you against like a random warframe or something. It's pro yeah, it's Rhino because you can. That's what you can unlock. But... All right. Well, uh, if you're watching my stream, watch uh, Ryu's for a little bit. We're gonna see if he can beat up a Rhino. Play some bits now. Oh well. He's dead. <laughs> as soon as you started just using the sword, that was solved real quick. <laughs> As soon as I stunned him, it was a stunning that I think I actually did it. <laughs> the blinding. Junction activated the free event. Mission complete. And that's how you get all the special rewards. A new quest is available in your codex. You might want to double check if you can make that gun now. Yeah, I will. Uh, I should be able to do that in while I'm in your party, so. Yep. Yeah, it, it's just, just sometimes things check. take like take like literally twelve hours to build sometimes. So it's nice to just get them as soon as you, start them as soon as you get them. Once a week, that is one of the things I want to do. Okay. I just checked some things here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so complete Mercury Junction, visit the Codex in your orbiter, which it wants me to do anyways, that's a non issue, and then complete Suisway on Mercury. Alright.
Let's see if we can cheat. So what did I unlock? Uh, new gun, the bolter. Is that in... Uh... Bolter, there it is. Uh, I think I can straight up build it. Yeah, you can just build mm. it. It's gonna take 24 hours, but you can build it. Yeah, my... No reason not to. Yeah, it's not, I, much, I, it's not many resources. Everything I just put the bolt up prime. Operator? Is that a pun? Yes, Danny, we know. You have a bunch of prime weapons. I will attempt to bypass this fight. Alright, we're just gonna go straight to Suisse. Alright. I just like the, the, the fact that he got that building at the same time I got mine equipped. And then after this, you, if you go look at the codex, you should be all set. I bring my celebron. Okay, so we're going to Suisse. Yeah, 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 my my fingernail caught the 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 the, the, the I need you to get inside the opener as it fell and opened it as it fell. Okay, so this is another one of the puzzle ones, or this is one of the puzzle ones, yeah. And Danny, how'd you roll a nap one? I mean, seriously. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll take A. Oh, since this is a new planet, though, uh, Ryu, it's going to have mostly new resources. So, uh, so keep I'm an eye on running that. over things and picking them up. Tano, be on the lookout for increased security measures. A is mine. Okay, which one do you want, Ryu? Uh, I'm heading towards B now. Okay, I'll go for C then. Okay, to take detours into treasure rooms and stuff. Yeah, and the, and the hacking sequences are going to be different too, Rio. Because they're right. Grenier. Interestingly, you can't actually fail the Grenier ones. They're the ones that are the. It's just the circle, and you, t you have to get the thing in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not how I get to be. Uh, oh, yes, it is. There's the thing. Okay. You're nearing the console. Yes, yeah, I've done this as far as the... Alarms. Data destruction is imminent. You need to hurry. That may have been my fault. Don't worry. I'll, I'll reset the alarms. Ah, bullshit. Oh, no. Yeah, hurry up. We've got 20 seconds to get the data. I don't know how they saw me in the first place. So, whatever. It's too late. We've lost this data. You will need to be more careful what? the next See? vault. You've triggered the alarms. Lose this data and the mission will be a complete failure. Yeah, it was definitely my fault. Uh... No, Ryu, I, I tripped an alarm too. They're individual. It wasn't your only your fault. <laughs> and that happens. It's uh, best to do it when you're with friends who aren't going to really care that too much about it. <laughs> rather than with randos who will cuss you out. Get to extraction. Well, I think the first alarm was like, because I shot something because I thought I needed to shoot it. And I probably should have not shot it. <laughs> yeah, th th there's a mod for silencing. Yeah, if you don't have anything specifically silenced, try and use melee attacks whenever re uh, possible. Yeah. Supper is I did figure out how to get to where I need to go this time. <laughs> uh, how do I get back out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, there it Fault is. Fault Ryu.
still have got my at least I got my um mine extracted. That's not where you'd be. Uh... Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Maybe it is. <laughs> Below you, I think, for you. Yeah, it's hard to tell. There it is. I like it when gamers give you missions where you can split up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just really need to learn the mechanics. Found a sum accord thing, which is you'll get information on that later, uh, Ryu, but it lets you do more music and notes and stuff. Uh, what it lets you do is once you scan enough of the same of the, of the same series it um, unlocks a song that you can play on your jukebox oh, oh is that what it does okay yeah. i think i'm out of scanning things i don't know how to get up to you guys <laughs> one sec i'll uh i'll head back to see if i find you You're forgot mine, that i'm here. no i forgot no, that I i'm using a little okay. companion that uses those scanning things automatically Oh. You're on the right way. It's just up here. Oh, you're going backwards. Keep going along. Keep going along. And then directly upwards. Oh, I see. Okay. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Whoops. <laughs> Am I hit on the ceiling? Oh, that's not. Okay. How do I get up there? Oh, I see now. Okay, got it. I don't have codex scanners, but I've got uh, the Samara scanners. I mean, where thing, aren't they? Uh, no, the um, the 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 Samaras ones can be used as codex scanners, but it, they also have their own uh, um, additional features, and they're a bit more expensive. Okay. Uh, where? Need... where? Wait, where's the card? I linked it. It, ew, it's gone now. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's I, down one of these sides. Because I was looking for it and something disappeared. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. Okay, let's see. This is the scan. Scan. Yeah, you have uh, to have an actual what? item to scan it with, though, Ryu. Lost well, uh, prize fun. I see. Okay. Spy mission to finish off for you. Uh, Ryu, just check your thing if you're able to do the next one. The next, uh, junction. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can make more of those scanners. I also need to check my codex. Um, there we go. Any 
anyone else picking up weird signal shapes floating in the clouds just off Gas City? Build those or buy them, I forget. From any listeners with info. Uh, okay. not sure. I just heard from somebody called Nora. <laughs> oh, Nora is for the dailies and stuff. Uh, Nora in your, yeah. Um, in your ship, right next to the uh, codex, to the left of it, there should be a thing that says Nightwave right before you exit your cockpit. No. Not yet. Uh, you're close to it, but you're not quite seeing it. Sorry, I'm watching your stream. Uh, you're looking at it right now, as far as I could tell. It's one of those side things right next to your exit. Oh, is it? I, I need something to do activate it, I think. Okay. So, yeah, it, it's that thing with the red waves. That's, that's yeah. the night wave thing. You probably just oh, there it is. Yet. Okay. Just to take a look yeah. at it. There we go. Okay. Nora yeah. is all so the daily and weekly things are like the missions you can do. Uh, and when you complete them, you get that that little flag resource is just reputation, basically. All right. But you can also use it to buy things. Um, and then Coming add the reward next. tiers. Those are the free rewards just for going up in tier. But you can also, uh, once you get her special credits, you can actually buy really cool stuff from her shop. Cool. All right, now let me see the junction. So I'm not sure if I need to do the once away quest first. It, it didn't specify. So if it doesn't specify in the junction, I don't think it matters. It, it shows once awake though when I hover over it. So yeah, complete quest once awake. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, try to join that quest and see if it's solo. If it's solo, back out and we'll do some other stuff real fast. All right. Operator, the system yeah, put you. some upgrades on. Only about like 15 points worth each. Yeah, the begin. Probably. Near Doctor Brain named Tengus claims to have uncovered some sort of new bioweapon. We have a few, de few details, but the messages are originally out and prime. You need to go there and investigate. Alright. Once so away, can investigate to to the bioweapon. Okay, M Prime is on Mercury. Investigate bioweapon, yeah. Oh, yep, I have it right there. Okay, and it looks like it should be multiplayer. Yeah, just investigate bioweapon. Cool, we can accept as well. Yeah, that's the only way to know if something's single player or not without looking it up. Is just click begin. If you're in a group, it'll kick you out. It'll say ask to kick you out. I mean. Mhm. Mm if it doesn't hurt, to just try un getting to the point where I can unlock the junction. <laughs> Right. Yeah, th th that's basically the main goal is, when you're first starting out, is just unlock all the junctions that are reasonable, and then from there do whatever it strikes your fancy as far as content. I've yep. identified several vulnerable data consoles on this base. Oh boy. Find them and it's another them. spy mission! Know the nature of their new bio that's weapon. fine, we needed one more for um, Nora. Eternal. Keep them away from the specimens. This way, actually. Destroy them! Dr. Tengus demands oh, uh... absolute secrecy. There we are. Yep, this one's got a carrier on My scans are not detecting any known biochemical agents. What are they doing down here? And using the elevator. <laughs> yeah, this this mission is mostly to introduce a new enemy type that shows up sometimes. They basically can inf can infest almost any type of mission. Stay focused. The weird There's biological monsters. All right, I'll go to A as usual. 
Or at least I'll go see as usual. I saw the thing on. Because, like, I see there's something about ghouls attacking on my radar thing, so I don't know if that's what these enemies are or not. They're the These are the infested. They're, um, they're... They're, they're very obviously the... monsters. <laughs> yeah, they're infected by the technocyte virus. Yeah, honestly, uh... Once I've actually gotten a look at, we're not looking too bad place in Resident Evil. <laughs> not enough eyes, though. You want that? You want PAS? Phase 2. Okay, so this didn't have any alarms to trip on my side. Yeah, it didn't look like it did on mine either. So I don't... I, these are probably meant to not be available. Is that English? Did I just speak English now? I can't tell. <laughs> that might have been some weird hybrid of, of English and idiot. Oh, so my you... language. <laughs> Are from California, so. Excuse me. <laughs> California has some of the best uh, best colleges in the country. Thank you. And yes, it is also known for Valley Speak. Okay, I see it. I don't see how to get to it yet. That's what only on the coast, which is only most of our uh, state. God. <laughs> is it? It's got to be through here. We got. Somehow. Yeah, my, my sister couldn't get into UC Berkeley. She got declined and got into UC Irvine instead. And she was so upset. And I'm sitting here like, woman, you just got into like the second best college. <laughs> oh no. What's going on? She didn't complain when she got there. She loved Irvine. But it was just funny how in high school she was so upset. And it was just like, this shouldn't be possible. Tenno, you set your, your sights a little high. We need to know what is going on here. Okay, I see it. I'm... It's got to be through these tubes, right? Maybe not. I'm on my way to see if I can help you. I think I found it. <laughs> Oh, yep, you're making progress then. Yep. That's making things harder than they needed to. <laughs> uh, there we go. We did a lot. A clean extraction. I do do that a lot. <laughs> we have everything we came for. Get to extraction. Who uh, let them this? out? Was it Tengus? Tengus did this. I know he did. Someone released these creatures on purpose. They want them to destroy you. If you see me playing Viewfinder at all, you see me just make things a lot harder than I actually need to. You do. I haven't seen that, I'm afraid. I watched, like, your first stream of it. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Another thing that requires a scanner. God damn it. It's on fragment. No way. Buy it from the market. Archaic weapons found. Yeah, I'm definitely going backwards. Uh...
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I missed the stairs. You can just jump up, Rio. You don't have to use the elevator. Yeah, there I wasn't go. going to. <laughs> I was just getting an angle where I could actually see what it's doing. Man, set up an alarm. Nope. Are you sure? Because I was going to blame you anyway. I'm literally at the end of the level. Bugged enemy. Another job well executed. Four thousand five hundred. Fire, see ninety two per cent. My issue on that one was I was just blind. I did not notice the elevator that was right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those things where you're you have to get used to it. It uh, when you do spy missions, you you start to realize Hello. what certain layouts are and what their normal paths are, developing. and then deal with it's what little infested. random bits get they throw at you because they can be randomly console. swapped around. <laughs> it's just a case of I went I walked by the elevator like three times. <laughs> It's like I got obsessed with a little tube I saw. <laughs> Alright, that should be the last one. Yeah, hopefully it lets you. I just need a route there then. Complete. Oh, okay. I have to look at the codex. And visit the codex. Okay. So, look to me. Like your next mission. Can you oh, uh, can you bring that up again on your stream for me, Ryu? I want to see what the path is. Okay. Uh, I just realized I may have infected you, Ryu. Oh, it and said it. Complete the Mercury Junction and visit the Codex in your orbiter. Complete quest once awake. Okay, I'm confused because I definitely visited the Codex. Please click on Cetus for me. The one, the one in the blue flashing. I want to see if it gives you a specific quest for it. Uh... Basically, when it's saying go to the Codex, you can start missions in the Codex, and it's telling you to go there to start on to work. I thought I did that, though. Yeah, I had to have done that, because I got once a week I started. Yeah, that was the quest we just did, Danny. Was once okay. a week. Alright. Oh, once a week is still active, though. Yeah, so is it Click on it again. Is it quest line? Oh no, it has more steps. Got it. Okay. Yeah. It had it had more on the on Mercury to do. That's why I thought it was weird. It still had that icon. Yeah, you've got it's on Terminus, I think. On on Mars, on Mercury, I mean. Okay. So yeah, you, you'll have to host that because we can't see it. Got it. I understand now. That makes sense. Uh, exterminating test. There we go. Got it. So it's a quest that's on two different locations. Got it. 
it might be three because of the way that looks because it leads to Lara's. Yeah, this is the introduction of a multiple location quest to me then. <laughs> yeah, it later on the quest stopped doing like location specific ones like this. Uh, and they, because they want to be more cinematic and have actually like right. storytelling and whatnot. This Grenier ship tried to flee the infestation, but was quickly overrun. Exterminate everything on board before it reaches a more populated sector. Okay, so the yeah, killer. My mom's gonna be a bit much. I need to fix something real quick on my screen, you guys. Okay. That's it. Uh, I I forgot the way my my capture is. Um, that it it's not capturing Warframe at the exact right uh at the exact right. may have thought they could toy around with sixteen by nine. Ah, oh, got it. Aspect uh, ratio. Yeah, the aspect ratio is. Perfect, but it's better now. It's not. It, it's not going to capture perfectly 16 by 9 because I'm doing it in windowed mode, um, which I kind of have to do with the way my setup is. Honestly, Warframe just only captures in windowed mode anyway. I tried doing the full screen and not capture. Oh uh, well, I didn't know that part. <laughs> I had to do it for other reasons. But yeah, so I just made it more centralized so it doesn't just have like a gray bar at the bottom. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit. Approaching. Oh, I uh, found an ambassador. Star, 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 star. I've got a waypoint down. Come grab it. Well, the, it automatically waypoints those for us. Uh, I, I know, but not if you're too far away. Buddy, you're making me have to play from OBS. Come on. Good kitty. Cause trouble. Rump! <laughs> Accidentally went in my operator form. <laughs> The infested died off with the Orican. For hundreds of years, there was nothing. Now this. Where did the Grenier find these creatures? Weapon that sweeps left to right, you just become like a grinder. <laughs> the enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. I remember the old um, old days of uh, spin to win. Which one? The one where um, using slide um, slide attacks that that ten you just spinning melee slash yeah. was no, just. I I thought you meant the Warframe that literally does like a ballerina dance and fires lasers all around. I'm sorry. No, no. I... What, what, what was that? No, you'll see it eventually. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm on about the one that, um... The, 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 the area when just sliding melee attacks were just completely devastated to absolutely everything and there was no point in even using the gun.
So yeah, you just have a like uh, we get to a room of enemies, you'd have four, you'd have um four warframes just suddenly going um bear blade. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. An amber star that time. I didn't notice that. Cool. That's why I made sure everybody got it. Double check your request to see if it in unlocked one more area for us to do. Yep. For you. Kind of this from what Dr. Tankus' reports. The additional test marines have arrived. The specimens tore through the previous batch much faster than it predicted. It should be noted that marines who survived the longest were using fire based weapons. Of course, because the zombie thing got it. Press the door of to fire. I've sent a fire damage mod for you to install on your melee weapon. It should aid you in your coming mission. And hey, may enough. answer the question. <laughs> yeah, once awake, defend the bomb. Hello, hello. I must say, these infested yeah. scare uh, the... Are if you want, you might want to equip that mod uh, yep. if you, you have space. The Lotus would like you to reinstall that mod as soon as now. That's kind of cool. I'll do it as soon as I can move. There we go. <laughs> Wasn't letting you move? Uh, I found out I was pressing the wrong key because my finger moved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, upgrade. Molten impact should be it. Alright, that's Ryu, bef before that, actually, go back to that menu real fast. I just noticed I... Yeah, I don't have a... For that. Well, no, that's not what I meant. Click the mods button in the bottom. There's a button that literally just says mods. And this takes you straight... It only shows you the mods you have equipped on that, on that current setup. And you can click one, and Fusion upgrades it. So if you click like Molten Impact and go to Fusion, it's right. I, know, I, I could do it from here. Okay. And then you can keep up right, up again. But however, it costs more and more resources on the right, and every yeah. upgrade makes it cost more to equip. Okay. So if you want to, you can upgrade that now. You'll it'll deal significantly more damage. Like one one upgrade alone is doubles the amount of. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it once. But yeah, that's that's the easiest way to check like the mods you currently have equipped, and uh, if you want to upgrade them, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay, I knew about the upgrade. I did not know I could do it straight from there. <laughs> All right. Well, you have to host the mission when you're ready. Yep. Just want to double check because I, I assume it should just show it in here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that specific symbol that it's showing for that location—that's usually like a quest symbol. All right, defend the bomb. Whenever you're ready, Danny. All right, so. Uh, by the way, your game info, info on um, YouTube still seems to say Legend of Zelda Part Four. Hmm. Mine. No. Uh, heavens. What? My, my Twitch or YouTube? YouTube. It we are going should... to attempt Damn it, to use I know what happened. Well, I can't fix... I won't fix that now. I'll have to fix it later. Take God time damn it. To arm. Protect it until it's ready for detonation. When you do streams on YouTube, um, you can choose to copy all the settings from a previous stream, which is usually the easiest thing to do, and then you only edit the things you have to care about. I think I, when I copied the setup for Warframe streams, I 
did I forgot one of the settings to change. Okay, so that's the bomb we're protecting, got it. Yeah, this one is defend against eight waves. Can't be too tough. Especially since most infested are melee. Well, that pink pulse is me giving energy to you guys, apparently. Oh, okay, I was wondering what that was. Trying to stop it. Man, this basically pays for itself. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> That's how it is with the with the ultimate ability on Excalibur and Excalibur Umbra. When you oh use yeah. That kill things. You just because you're melee and killing so many things, you just get all the energy back. Yeah. It's basically infinite at a certain point. I've um, I've 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 started um I've uh, Excalibur's final attack. Um, I've started a mission by turning it on and just kept it the entire mission. Yeah, I do that too. So, uh, Ryu, uh, you have something special on Excalibur where his ultimate is actually, like, it, uh, its own weapon. Right. Um, and it can be modified in everything, too. So, there are, there are a few Warframes that do something similar. Like Mesa or Misa. I don't know. I think it's Mesa. I think it's uh, Mesa. Mesa? Okay. Mesa is similar. It, she, she has like two handguns. Um, she can also modify those as well. Right, because that's my thorny-looking sword that appears when I do certain attacks, right? When this cascade Correct. bomb goes off, a wave of void energy. It's basically an energy blade. <laughs> remember. Ripping the life force. It's basically, basically a blade made of energy. But leaving the structure intact. And every time you use a melee attack when you've got it active, it you shoot out Link-style sword beams. Is that true, or is that only Excalibur Umbra? I can't remember. It's Excalibur as well. Sure it is. Whoop. <laughs> I fell in the ball. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the one that triggers with, with, with fall. If you've got that. Yeah, I, I think I only have one and two currently. Oh, no, I got three at some point. I think that's, uh, for you, that shoots out a, a lot of swords to stab enemies nearby. Yeah, that might be a point blank AOE. I think you might have four, if you want to give it a shot. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's that one, because you can see the icon in the bottom right, is sort of like pulsing. That means yeah. it's an ability you have to turn on and off. Rather Got than it, okay. Forward. It will go off on its own, but only when you run out of energy. Which, if you're killing, can take a while to get you just killing. Bingo. Yep. That's why one of the builds for uh, Excalibur is to focus on increasing your maximum energy, so that yeah. you have more time between enemies to keep it up. And you can use um, you can use your other abilities while using it as well. Yep, I figured mm -hmm. that one out. <laughs> yeah, see, like in between waves, it's like it's easy to just turn it off, and then only turn it back on when you start seeing enemies again. I remember if you load energy, I can talk you up. I've never seen my energy going down in a little bit. That's because you're not using it right now. No, I had it on before. I didn't see it going down at all. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if they change something, like if you're out of combat. I don't know, there are a lot of uh, a lot of blue orbs on the ground, which I have been picked up. Yeah, yeah I think it's just I had to be picking them up, I'm not sure. Yeah, now it's going down. 
yeah, I was just getting all the orbs coming to me. Again, if I combine it with that dash ability, if I don't fall through the floor, uh, I just get all the energy from them. I basically went from zero to full energy from doing the dashing blade. Okay, being near him heals you, apparently. Okay. Okay, so you're floating him and that's just creating that weird red aura. Yeah. My energy is set to be a deep thing. Okay, yeah, now I'm actually out of here. Ooh. Okay, here you go. Uh, don't kill him. Uh, okay, don't kill him. He's gonna run. Uh... Oh, what? Oh. Okay, uh, did the dagger use some energy? Yeah, I got energy. Uh, well, we need to be a bit more careful, though. Uh, our um, bomb's getting a bit damaged. It's fine, you only have one more wave left. Look at all this ammo that's going to waste on the ground. Guns? Yeah, I've been mean, I mean, using a hell of a lot of melee attacks myself, actually. I'm just using telekinesis and dual swords. Okay, so I realized I'm an idiot, and I thought, for a while, I thought the, uh, well, his energy was actually my shield. <laughs> no, it, it, your shield and your health are at the top. Yeah, no, I thought the blue number was the energy at first. Bless you again. Bless you. Ah, okay, we still have health and shields, our allies. The bomb is armed. I'm extracting you now. Good job, Tenno. Very Tracked without the vehicle? Like, how's Fine. this? How's that working? You just distracted us now. What the hell? I have restored a 1,121 energy. Yeah, well, Ryu, Ryu got a lot of kills that time. Oh yeah. They you were only all... shot 1% damage. I just, I just like, stood on the bomb yeah, and just kept using the slashing ability. Oh, Ryu, one of the mods you just got is called Fracturing Wind. That's a stance for fist weapons. So you actually have a stance now. Okay, I have a stance now. Cool. Stances are great. But they, they're they weapons type specific, so. Right. So you need yeah. to field drain sample. Destroy field drain. Good further researching to eating containment fields. Okay. It's just a material. You can always see about, get, uh, about buying and building some um, fist weapons. Heat sword blueprint. Ooh, you can make that now. Yeah. Once a week complete. Alright, you'll probably have to do that solo thing again. But, uh, yeah, definitely get that sword made. Or started to, at least. Uh, where are you? Uh, the best way to, if you know you have the materials for an item, one of the first options in the top left for sorting is just ready to be built. Left. Ready to build. It, it's right uh, after the infinity and the uh, little research icon. Oh, there it is. I don't see it. Hmm. Then it must be under melee. Maybe you don't have the materials yet. There it is. I definitely do. Mastery rank three required. That's why I don't have it. Okay. I'm mastery two, I believe. Yep. Not much you can do about that except keep leveling up weapons and stuff. Okay. Now that one's gone. All right. Stand by while I analyze the intelligence profiles of the Grenier. Error. Not so a number. now you could just go Didn't ahead and do that uh, this junction. 
Well, at first I need a route. <laughs> oh, right. Double check what you can do then. Just want to double check. Yes, yeah, so everything there is done. So it looks okay. like... Click on Cetus. Cetus, yep. One busy is fine. Whatever. Okay. It doesn't really matter. These are just uh, individual instances of places where players actually gather. So it'll ask you which one you want to go to and if, if you want to go to one that's not busy or what have you. Okay. The rule of thumb is the first, like, one, two, or three tend to be the most busy. And then 69 tends to have a few people in it. Because creativity. Got it. Well, the funny thing is, it's uh, the funny thing is, um, the 69th instance came when the content was so popular that you had just over 100 instances. And then um, pe people have worked together in order to make sure that the 69th rooms never closed. Which. Kind of impressive, really. Okay, so Ryu's getting like a cutscene. Yep. I probably skipped it. I'm actually curious about the cutscene. No, no, definitely watch it. Oh, definitely skip. watch it. it they, they, they give you a really good insight of like what this area is about. Because these are like, the, this is one of those NPC areas that is like its own set of content. Got it. There's several of these. <laughs> this is just like the first one. The first main one they did. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching my stream, folks, just keep in mind. We're, we're currently watching Ryu and uh, do the cutscene and whatnot. Austrian Reclamation Colony. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to actually take a quick bio, so go ahead and explore and whatnot if you want to, or I'll take a break, but I definitely need to file and everything. To be fair, it won't be too long, so I'm going to need some sleep. Okay, well, I'll just be as quick as I can while Ryu's exploring. Okay. Offworlder, interested in working for me? Gotta prove yourself first. Head out on the plains and show me what you can do. Okay, so there's a bounty system here. Okay, so Austin's one of the faction things. Got it. See you again, eh? To know. Swazdula, Offworlder, interested in working for me? Gotta prove yourself first. Head out on the plains and show me what you can do. Okay, I'm back. What you're of. <laughs> okay, so yeah, those those are like uh those are strings of quests. And you can do them to get more reputation with them and also to get the rewards are, that it shows there. Right. So this is the introduction so to the faction system then. Sort of. It's it actually it ties in with the free roam area. Um, and it gives you actual directed quests to do in the free roam area. But, but if you were alone, it could pair you up with a team to do them. Or it would do it with all of us, in this case. Okay. So, should I do it, or...? Well, keep exploring a bit. See what the, all the vendors do. 
because this you is uh, your rates on me. because this is an open world area. They have so many things, including back again soon. fishing. Trouble either. Something nasty. Okay. Ghouls. I must assume those orange ones are the vendors. Yes, all the orange icons. There, uh, there it is. Fortunately, the fishing's not really in depth. As a result, it's not really so bad. Yeah, it's actually more like spear fishing, I think. Or is that a later area? No, it's spear fishing. Yeah, if you highlight the actual things, you can see what what form of currency they use. Trust me, every single one of these areas has like 50 different types of currency. I see. Also, please tell me flutes are exactly what they sound like. <laughs> what? Are these Phosphor like... Phosphor rod? I don't remember exactly. I don't think I've seen folks with them. Oh! Oh, good. Danny, Flutes go are exactly what I thought they were. Good. They're plushes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look how tiny you are, Danny. Okay. How are you getting so big? I'll let you know. I'll talk to you about that later. I don't want to spoil, spoil it for you. Okay. Aha! You desire this all weapons Hawk is so famous for. Allow Hawk, I am Hawk, to sell you blueprints for weapon parts. Forge them in your foundry and then return here so that Hawk may construct a fine weapon for you. Okay, so a special forging thing, got it. Shut up, Sura! Yeah, that's a, special, that's a special type of weapon. Uh, yeah, there's also... Well, actually, no, that one might just be creature catching. Yeah, that I was just creature catching, I think, but it might also involve getting pets. On Venus. Another time, the echo lures are the more important parts. Markings, adornments, patterning, and striation. A hunter should take pride in their animal. But yeah, so those are all like that's all the vendors and stuff here. You'll get quests that involve actually in talking with some of these NPCs and whatnot. However, so if you come find where if you I'm want on to the draw map, bells from the cliff face, then I've got what you need to do it. Yeah? Mining tools, scanning gear, huh? That kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, this you can just walk into the free roam area, uh, and with the party you're in, they'll you can all go the same free roam and just explore and do stuff like catch fish or catch animals. Now this is a bit of a pain right now for you because you don't have the arc, the arc wing yet. But the, these free roam areas are where you mainly use the arc wings. Got it. Okay. Of course, specific Aquang missions. I think I've talked to everyone. Okay, then yeah, let's let's go quickly and just explore some of the planes just to see what it's like. All right, how do I do that? Just go out of town? Just, yeah, you're going the right oh. direction. I see Danny there. Yeah, I ranked up. Yeah, so it, when they don't load in all the way, they just seem like they're a weird black boy. Yep. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> I do have to actually stop soon myself. So we might only get 10 minutes in. I forgot I had an appointment. That's fine. So yeah, once we get to the actual door, it'll... I feel like I've got a good amount of progress done, which is good. Yeah, no, unlocking this place for, like, single player is great. Because now you'll be able to learn more about free roam and stuff. Uh, Danny, I think we need you nearby to let us in. I am here now. Oh, okay, good. Okay, yeah. That frame rate is it loading an overworld. Yeah, that makes sense. There, there's a reason why games like to use caves and doors. <laughs> Welcome... To free roam. I am still behind the door. Oh. Yeah, wait a second. I'm also waiting for the door to open. Here I am. Porters, Danny. Hmm? 
Pardon? They added teleporters. Oh yeah. Look at that. I saw that uh, last uh, last week. Um. Huh. Where is Ryu? He's still I'm loading. Still at the door, and the loading thing disappeared. It, you're coming in. Don't worry. It's just taking a while. There we go. The plains of Eidolon, the site of an historic battle right, between so... the Orican and a great sentient. Hard wings. These plains are a vast graveyard like of the sentient who attacked uh, the tower Allow you to fly ago. around and whatnot if at a really high speed. True, uh, Danny is riding a K drive, at night. which is a hover a hover skateboard. You'll get one of those too. If you open up your map with M, it'll show you, uh, there's these little icons that are like red with a number. I believe that indicates difficulty. Oh, I see. Okay. And then wow, there's cave icons. Yeah. And then there's cave icons as well. Yeah, okay, so caves and mountains and things. Got it. Okay. And then there's over here is the blink pad. If you use it, it'll show you other locations you can teleport to. This is a newer feature. So this might make it easier for you with it, even though you don't have an arc wing. I have a feeling oh. I can't use it yet. <laughs> it is not unlocked for you. Never mind. And then every once in a while you'll see like these orange icons on your map. These are just like random events you can start. Uh, the, the, you can start like the the missions you saw with Kanzu and up there. You can also yeah. start them out here with this without having to go back to town every single. Oh, time. that that's a nice touch actually. Yep, almost all the open worlds have something like that. Oh yeah, uh, if you touch water, you will have your energy drained. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, no, this I water is bad. It. I forgot this water was bad. I love how I'm like, the water's bad, and you immediately both jump in. I'm a schmuck. Look, anyway, there are multiple so what... games where I've literally gotten the bad ending simply because it told me what to do to get the good ending, and I didn't do it. <laughs> so, Ryu, what you'll want to do around here is look for anything that might glow. It might be a resource. Um, okay. You'll learn how to, like, capture animals and fish. You can do that, too, to get uh, standing and reputation and whatnot, or to craft certain things, because they'll have vendors who will have stuff that's unique to them. Um, and the fastest way to gain more reputation and whatnot is just to do the thing uh, that you saw earlier, the daily quests. So yeah, uh, like over here is one of the formations they've got for like my mining nodes. Ah, you yeah. literally just attack it. Okay, so they, they have, there were things like this on Devere, so that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, there are mining points that you have to use a certain device for. Yeah, there is a mining device you can craft. Right, yeah, I oh, yeah. assume... It's, it, yeah, um, I can show you here, actually. There's one right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't even see it. I must not have the mining device. Oh, really? It's just like a, it's just like a streak of red in yeah, the Yeah, it's like oh. a mining vein. Oh, I don't see yeah. the same vein as you, then. Okay, I actually see it in a different location, but yeah. Okay, so that's per person. Okay, so it's, so it's veins. Got it. Okay. I saw one over here then. I should double check. Yeah, so vain. You probably think this mine is about you. Also, when you have the mining device out, you get a ping as you as you move your yourself around to sort of indicate where the nearest mining point is. Oh, that's good enough. Picked up Top a spinal right. claw. There's a uh, red nerds uh, and blue nerds um, for different types of materials. Yeah, I know you're still there. Yeah, that means it's gonna attack you. 
it, you destroyed its corporeal form, so it goes into the other form. You can, however, permanently kill them if you go into your operator form. But yeah. I don't know if you have that. Uh, I don't have that yet, are, you? are you sure? Press five, just in case. No, because I haven't okay. actually got that in this event. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know I could leave my um my thing on yeah. On the board. I I legitimately thought Danny was an enemy. <laughs> okay, so those little animals, these ones that are normally either non hostile or just weak, you actually don't want to kill them. You want to, once you learn how to do it, you can actually cap, tranquilize them and capture them. Cool. And that gives you, that's another source of reputation and reward and stuff. And that's what I saw with the Paul Prince shop, got it, okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll get tags for capturing them. And the My better, own? the higher quality the tag, the better, or the, the capture, and you get high quality tags by not being discovered when you do it. Okay, so that, that's part that I'm gonna suck at. <laughs> well, no, you'll never... have a shrink. You have a tranquilizer gun. I've never actually uh, caught an animal in this. Me. <laughs> it. I've only done it on like on one of the other worlds. I haven't done it on this one. It, but it is a pain in the ass in general. I am Nightcrawler. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? creature of some kind, and I don't know where it is. Apparently I need to kill like six more animals. For an achievement. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I very purposely just walk in the water. <laughs> oh, there's another mine right there. But yeah, you'll uh, you'll want to mine, fish, get animals, everything pretty much, because it all gives you bits of reputation and bits of, of benefits that you can use in the town. Two intact sentient cores. Oh, they're vultures. Yeah, yeah. Don't kill, don't kill them. I just captured some of them. Wait, what? Do you see the, they... them flashing? They just got raptured. Yeah, they, yeah they that's because that's, that's how you capture them. <laughs> I don't know why I shooting them. I like vultures. <laughs> yeah, the the capturing quests and whatnot get more complicated in other planets, but here it's pretty. It, you literally just have to come across them. Oh, that's his hoverboard that I saw. Okay. All right. Fuck it, Prime. <laughs> Did you guys want to do anything else here real quick or uh, before I had to go? Uh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I'm good. Okay, just wanted to see if you guys wanted to show off anything or if you remembered anything you wanted to check. But yeah, that, Ryu, Ryu, if this is sometime, something you want to do in between streams or whatnot, this is a perfect place to do stuff. Because you're cool. just going to... There's a lot of different quests and, and missions to do and it's just good to learn. Yeah. It's also going to be the best place for me to actually practice the movement, I think, because it's a nice open area. Are you guys getting the tags for these also? Yes. yes. Two planes Kawaka cool. tag. Awesome. I, that is shared in a party then. Good. All right. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close up my stream. If Rhea wants to keep streaming with Danny, that's cool. I don't mind. But, uh, I think I... I'm actually going to stop myself. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay, 
So yeah, that's it for us for today, folks. Uh, we will catch you next week, probably with more of this if we want to keep playing. Um, and uh, But my next stream is going to be Saturday, playing more Detective Archives. How about you folks? What are you guys doing? Uh, should be doing some more um, Alexander raids in 14 with Lowy was and, and, and her on Saturday. Right. Uh, as for me, uh, tomorrow I am starring Miles Morales. Ooh, nice. Because I want to do that on stream before 2 comes out. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. All right, and so that'll be soon. it for us, folks. Uh, so we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, for now. Bye, guys. Yeah, I completely blanked that I had plans to